like expensive artworks. Instead of spending 80,000 euros, you can maintain many families in uh, Iraq or Africa or, or other countries. I didn't have a good conscience to spend so much money on the Bell project. او سارکانی آن کفته یا جمالیون سر خیمه کانی آن، اماش بوری خیمه کانی آن کی بسی، اماش درعی تر سر آمریشی کان، او درعی هر سری آمریشیه، او آن او درعانه. اینتر او جمعی عشای آمریشیه، تقمنیه. همو شتیم یه خرف همیه تیره، همیه تو لایم. I was so working with somebody who's called Najad, an entrepreneur from Iraq who's melting weapons and he has contracts with the American army and he's collecting all kinds of weapons. And he melts them and he makes bricks. He classifies them, categorizes them, where they come from, when they were sold to Iraq, from by which country. <laughs> America, Italia, Almania, Japan, Sin, all of the Arabic and Shayanati, into Tunisia, Amana Hamid, Yarnati, Iraq, and to the Shari Iran, Jariwawa, Hadula, and Froshua, Amba, Ara, Amba, Iran. These weapons are made by the West, you know, and sent to our countries, and Najat is like somehow melting it into possibilities of, you know, transformation. Adesso noi lo mandiamo un attimino in laboratorio, tagliamo un pezzettino, lo mandiamo ad analizzare, così vediamo la percentuale, le impurità, verifichiamo il fatto che non sia radioattivo, arrivando da, da un paese in guerra non si sa mai cosa capita nelle, nelle varie bombe. Quindi contandoli tutti dovrebbero esserci tutti, sono 300 kg, sono quelli che ci servono per fare, per fare la campana. Perfetti. In Europe they always used to melt bells into weapons. You know, many, many thousands of bells were melted into weapons. So I was just thinking about the circulation of materials and uh, how one could uh, swap this process and do it the way around to make a bell out of it again. So this bell is very simple. You know, the work is very accessible. And that's what I like. If I like this project, if I accept it, it's, that's the only reason. As artists, we were always addressing ourselves, or we were addressing this difficult language, which was not accessible for normal people. And that's our problem in art, I say. I ask many people, they say, I'm sorry, I, we don't like to go to museums, to exhibitions. I mean, I never go to exhibitions or to museums either. Because also it's too, too much for me, this kind of art. It's too difficult for me. That's why I say I have an affair with knowledge. I don't have a relationship with knowledge. Because I don't want to, to overdose my work with philosophy. Each one or two years I go home, I make a small presentation to my family for, with my new works. When my mom understands, I'm happy. I know that people will understand. And that's why I like the simplicity. I think I need that.